I was going through Instagram Reels just the other day and this video shows up with a UX design tip. It's a web app where you add your paper drawn sketch, prototype, whether it's a mobile app or web app or whatever it is, and it automatically generates for you a digital design using AI. So how cool is that? I decided to give it a try in this video, so stay tuned for the final result and learn with me. One of the first things that I've done was to grab my notebook, a pen and reveal my imagination on a blank page. That's where I sketched the first low fidelity prototype. I realized that the prototype might be a bit too small, so I decided to redo it a bit more clear and bigger, just to give the AI the best chances possible to understand my concept. After I was happy with it and finalized my sketch, I took my phone and captured this beauty that I've sent to my computer. So I just finished my sketch and I just uploaded it to, to uh, my computer. Uh, it doesn't look like the best one ever, but that's the purpose of the software, to see how smart the AI can be and how uh, it can generate from this wireframe, how it can generate the digital design that we are talking about and how impressed we are about it. So one thing I actually want to do is I want to adjust slightly uh, this one just to improve it a little bit uh, in terms of colors. I'm gonna add uh, like some curves to just improve the definition and basically remove all those dots that are on the background, ideally. I mean, that's not necessary. Uh, so this should do, let's give it a look. I think that's perfect. So what I tried to do actually here was some kind of a quick social media concept where you have some posts we have two buttons for like and dislike we have the user profile on the right side and we have some text maybe like like a tweet just a short comment the notification bell at the top i'm not sure if it's gonna identify very well the number one as a number of notifications but we're gonna see how smart it is and then we have uh, just a menu bar at the bottom we home we have a plus where you can add a new post and the profile icon just over there on the bar. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna combine these together. Uh, I'm gonna combine these together and then just gonna export them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go quick export this PNG. Just possibly somewhere on the desktop, call it sketch. And at this point, we want to go and open the uizar.io. The link is going to be in the description, so you can get it from there. Don't worry about it. And I actually, I don't have an account. I've never tested this before. This is the first time. That's also the purpose of this video, to learn together and go through the process together at this point. So I'm going to go and press sign up for free. Um, I'm probably going to use one of my Google accounts. Just want to get really quickly into it and see how it works so we can test it and I want to go eventually say let's let's see if we can reach out that feature as I mentioned before I never tested it so I'm not sure what to expect and I believe we can use a scan screenshot of scan wireframe sketch Let's go with that. Um, select, select it. But that's not actually mine. So, to guess how we create. So, let's go with one of the examples, as they said. But as you can see, the one that's shown in the example, it's not as good either. The lines are not like straight. Uh, the icons are not like very complex and so on. But yeah, it looks like it's working very well. Or oh, however, I like to try mine. So how do I get rid of this? Uh, I believe we can. So we can preview settings, design. 
There's no such option, I guess. So, so at the moment, no mobile. Let's try once more. Let's try again. So create. Scan wireframe sketch. I'm gonna add mine, and let's see how it's gonna take this. Okay, that's exactly my sketch. Although I'm not sure if it was that bad, was it? Well, let's see what we get, all the pressure. So, what is this? So, I'm not sure what to say actually, well, it did well with some of the features, like it knew that there is an icon on the top right side. However, it's a cloud. Um, the design like wasn't the perfect, but from what I've seen from the previous sketches that they put as examples, it did the job. However, in this case, it's not looking very, very smart. Um, it managed to get the lower zoom. I think my handwriting was quite good. It managed to get a like and dislikes button. There is no user profile on the right side, which I thought that was very clear. Let's just open up the Photoshop one once again. So you can clearly see there is a user profile or at least something, some sort of icon, which it totally dismissed. Um, I don't think, I think the, the worst part for me is the navigation bar just at the bottom, which is a really important aspect. I was 100% sure that it's going to get it right from that. Um, I had like, I wasn't sure about the pulse, but the navigation bar at the bottom, I thought it's going to nail that. But it's quite, it's quite simple and being an AI, you know, you usually expect to have a navigation bar just at the bottom for mobile apps, right? So I, yeah, I'm not uh, impressed by this feature. I think it's something that they still should work on. I mean, this is just like the first try. So I'm not sure, maybe for it's gonna be different. So give it a try and you know, let me know in the comments your thoughts about it. But for me, it's maybe a five out of 10 at this point. So I'm just curious to see how it's gonna evolve. AI, it's constantly evolving. It's not perfect now, I am aware of that. So if this is gonna be improved in the future, I'm sure I'm gonna use it. But for now, it's a no for me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments your thoughts about it. And if you like this kind of format, again, we can make more in the future. But other than that, let me know your opinion or what would you like to see in the next one.